Do you also have kids who love listening to their Tony box all day? But do you also know the problem that you're sometimes just a little bit annoyed because the Tony box is always running and there's always the same stories that you have to listen to? Yes, the Tony box comes with the possibility to use earphones, but the Tony box only allows to use wired earphones with a classic earphone jack. And from my point of view, this comes with a lot of disadvantages. First of all, from my point of view, having wired earphones is a safety issue. Because if you have a little child in your household, it can wrap this uh, wire around the neck and this can be really dangerous from my point of view. And a wire also limits the freedom of movement for the kids. So I always thought, why didn't the manufacturer equip the Tony box with Bluetooth capability in order to be able to use Bluetooth earphones? And is there a way to just retrofit Bluetooth capability? After searching for a while, I came across a nice tutorial from GetGo who really described in detail how you can retrofit Bluetooth capability to a Tony box. Okay, it requires opening the Tony box as well as some soldering, but then my daughter would be able to enjoy the full comfort of Bluetooth earphones. So let's jump into this project. The first step is to open the Tony box. For this, just put it on a solid ground, put some pressure on it, and then turn it counterclockwise until you hear a click. And then just remove the white lid. At the black bottom part, you can now see a small screw that you have to unscrew in order to be able to open the Tony box. If you remove the screw, then you can pull the inner part of the Tony box from the top of the Tony box. You can now see that there is a black part which holds the battery. This black part has to be removed by unscrewing all the screws that are holding this black part. Now that the black part is removed, you can see that it's still attached to the PCB with a small cable. This is the cable that supplies the PCB with the power for the battery. You have to now remove this cable before you're able to remove the PCB from the housing. Now that the battery holder is removed, we can continue pulling out the PCB from the white plastic housing. But as you can see, the PCB is still connected to the housing with two cables. These two cables connect the PCB with the speaker on the one hand and with buttons and the NFC tag reader, which reads out the NFC tags from the Tony figures on the other hand. And there we have the PCB. This is the brain of the Tony box. We have the front side, but for us, most interesting is the back side. Let us zoom into the top part of the PCB. This is the area of interest for us. We also need some additional hardware. We need a KCX Bluetooth emitter PCB, and we also need any N-channel MOSFET, in my case, I chose an SE2302, which is also explained by Gecko in his tutorial. Now let's dive deeper into the wiring scheme. We have to solder some small enamel wires to the PCB as well as to the KCX Bluetooth emitter board. 
First, we have to make sure to power the KCX Bluetooth emitter board. For that, we use the red line, which connects the 5 volts power output from the PCB of the Tony box to the 5 volts power input of the KCX Bluetooth emitter board. We also have to connect the Bluetooth emitter board to ground. For that, we use the peak ground contact and connect it with the black line to a point which is close to TP72 on the Tony Box PCB. Now we also connect the audio input of the Bluetooth emitter board to the Tony Box PCB. For that, we use the orange and blue connections. And for the audio signal, we also have a separate ground channel which is marked in brown color. The last step is to connect the MOSFET as shown in this illustration. This ensures that whenever a Bluetooth headset is connected to the Bluetooth emitter board, this means the link output of the Bluetooth emitter board goes to high, then the Tony box will automatically deactivate the speakers and only send the audio signal to the Bluetooth emitter board. But as soon as the Bluetooth headset will not be connected to the Bluetooth emitter board anymore, so if you just turn them off, then the speakers of the Tony box will automatically be turned on again. This is really great. Now that we know how to wire everything, let's do some soldering. But before that, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell in order to get notified also about my upcoming videos. Thank you. We will fast forward this as it took a while to do all the soldering. Now we just connect the battery to the PCB in order to test whether we get a connection from the headphones to the Bluetooth emitter board. And that works. Then we put everything back into the housing as we did before. And finally, we have a Tony box that works with Bluetooth headphones. A link to Gego's detailed written tutorial can be found in the video description. If you really liked this video, then please also watch my other videos. Thank you!